Hey everyone, I'm coming at you with my new camera. I'm so excited. I finally got a new phone. So I'm really hoping that this footage is looking really good for you guys. And I figured what better video to do for my first one with my new camera than show you my top 20 eyeshadows in my entire collection. These include both single eyeshadows and shadows in palettes. So if you want to see what eyeshadows make my heart flutter and bring me joy, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Okay, so First up, maybe a little surprising, a little unassuming, it comes from the Huda Beauty Nude Light palette, and it is this pink gold duochrome right here. Now, I know to a lot of people, they're like, oh my gosh, this is a dime a dozen, why is this your number one shadow of all time? But, let me tell you, on the eyes, I feel like this is one of the most shifty duochromes I've ever seen, and it's so shiny, and this like like a purpley like pink you know like cool tone pink as a base is so different than a lot of these shades which have a much warmer pink base and I just think it is so beautiful um I've had it in my collection for a really long time before I had any single shadows and it's always just kind of held a special place in my heart and like look at that shift it looks so beautiful on the eyes and I really love all of the metallics in here. This one broke. I didn't pan it that far. <laughs> but um, they're all just so beautiful. And this will always hold a special place in my heart, which is why it's number one. Now, number two is a single shadow. And this is one that I mention a lot as being one of my absolute favorites. This is from Terra Moons and it's Shattered Stars. This just came out last year and I think it is gorgeous. Some of the chameleons I feel like aren't quite as shifty, but this one has so many colors in it. So you can see it goes gold, but there's also a little bit of like teal in it and it has like a purple base and somehow it still looks kind of like neutral on my eyes even though there's so much color in here and so this one to me is just really awesome because I can wear it when I want something a little bit more like toned down but really really interesting or if I um, add it to like some colorful mattes those colors really come out of it and you can make it a colorful shade and it really is truly a chameleon you know I just love this shadow so much I know the Terra Moons ones are a little expensive coming in at like like $13 a piece but this one to me is totally worth it okay number three we've got another single shadow this is Davina's mystic moon pie and to me this is such a good everyday shadow it's one of those ones that has like a brown like mauve kind of base it's not like red you know it's not like super bright red or anything and it's not totally brown. It definitely is like a mauve -y type of color. But then it has like a silver blue kind of shift to it. Not quite as like bright blue as a lot of those blue brown duochromes. And it is a stunning one shadow look because it adds enough dimension for my skin tone, but then has such a contrast and really brings light to the center of my eyes. And it is so beautiful. It's so sparkly and I really, really enjoy this one. I can totally see why this one sells out so fast every single time. Um, and for eight bucks, I think this is a really nice shadow. Number four is one that you've also seen a lot on my channel. This is Shine by SD Ballistic. And this shadow has like every color in it. It is so cool. It goes like a gold, to a green, like a lime green, to a teal green. Then on the edges, I'm not sure if you can all see that on this new camera, but there's like a purple in it too. And the base is really red on this one, so you can also get that red. It is so, so gorgeous. I'm not sure if you can really see that like blue and purple that are on the edges, but it is stunning. And then there's that red base too. So it just is kind of like, the most multi-chromed shadow I've ever, se I've ever seen. Um, I just feel like 
it goes with everything because every color is in it and the shine by SD shadows are so shiny now we'll talk about this when I do my whole like shine by SD deep dive but I do find that the quality changes depending on the type of shadow you're getting but those more expensive ones have like an almost like silicone feel and because of that it seems like they just have an unreal shine to them number five is one of the only shadows in my entire collection that I have pan on and it's not because the shadow broke but legit because I have used it that much this is Ube by Luxi. Um, this is one that they still have on their site I haven't tried it since like apparently they reformulated but I can tell you the original is stunning it's got this really sheer purple base with a super strong green like tealy shift in it and it's really iridescent right it doesn't look like much but because of that you can layer it on different things and get completely different looks you can kind of see that sheer purple base there and it is gorgeous or you can wear this on its own for a really cool like fairy goddess type of look it is just so beautiful and one that obviously I wear a lot and I would totally repurchase if I did ever finish it because it has such a special place in my collection and is so unique to anything else that I have. Number six is from Menagerie Cosmetics and this is Animal Kingdom. This is like a really nice, neutral, everyday type of shade. It's got a peachy base with a strong gold shift in it. And it's just so sparkly and shiny and beautiful. I know a lot of people have like really not liked the Menagerie Shimmer Formula. Um, I believe that they reformulated during the like Fruit Bat palette era. And so I bought this last year and I have had no problems with it being chunky or weird or anything like that. I just think it is gorgeous. And honestly, this is one that I wear a lot because it is so every day, you know? Um, I really, really have a lot of other shimmers that I wanna try from the brand. I only bought two the, my for my first purchase last year because I was nervous since I had heard such mixed things. But I am a fan for sure, and I really wanna try a few others once I'm eventually off of my no-buy. Number seven is another one that will probably not surprise you if you are a frequent watcher of my videos. This is Playboy from Clarity Cosmetics. It's a really beautiful lavender purple with a very strong gold shift. There it is, and you can see that lavender base there. Much more opaque than Ube, but so so shiny this one IRL is like one of the shiniest shades I have it's so pretty such a strong flip I find on these purple golds a lot of time the shift isn't quite as stark so that's what really makes this one special to me um, now not everything from the brand is quite as loved as this one is but this is a really special beautiful shade Number eight is a new one to me, or newer, I should say. This is Touch of Glam Watermelon Sorbet. This shadow I was gifted by one of my friends, so shout out to Olivia. Um, you should totally go check out her channel. But this shade is kind of like the Menagerie one, but make it legit multi-chrome. This has like a pink to a gold, to a lime green, which I'm not sure I can really show you guys on camera, um, but it is so, so beautiful. Now, why this one ranks below the Menagerie one is this is ridiculously expensive and takes forever to ship. And because of that, like Touch of Glam isn't my absolute favorite brand, but I cannot deny how stunning this looks. This is like every day, but I want it to not be like so every day. Like I want you to double take and be like, was that a little bit of green I just saw? You know, that type of vibe. So really, really beautiful. And you can see very shiny, very shifty, very, very gorgeous. 
Number nine, we have another look-see shadow. This is Angel Wings. And again, such an elevated neutral. Um, I know that Lauren Mae Beauty also mentioned this in her elevated like neutral type of video. And I totally agree. It's got like a rosy base with like a green uh, gold kind of sparkle in it. And it's just so, so beautiful. Again, great for every day. You can tell what kind of shades I tend to lean towards. I like these like neutral shades that I can wear to work, but still feel like really cool and beautiful in. Um, and this is just one of those. And again, another one that is still available for purchase on Luxie. Not that I'm encouraging you to go buy things that you don't need, but if you had watched any of my other videos and you were like, oh, dang, I wish don't worry it still is available um for whenever you are in you know the makeup market all right rounding out the top 10 we have jd glow unexpected i'm not sure if you can see but for you know a 36 millimeter pan this one actually has quite a dip in it it's a really beautiful neutral shade again uh got a little bit of a warmer brown base on it with that green uh like gold a little bit blue shift in it so sparkly and pretty now if you've seen um on my instagram the shade Luxie Abracadabra is actually really similar to this. I like this one a little bit more since I own both, but if you don't own either, Abracadabra is $3, whereas this now at least is $8.25. So worth keeping in mind, you know, if you're not going to use the big pan, it may be worth just getting the smaller pan, but you can see those comparisons on my Instagram. And I'm really thinking about doing like, and indie dupes for each other type of video so that way people aren't buying the same exact shades like i have uh so stay tuned for that and we can go over like more of these types of dupes but this one so so pretty rounding out the top 10. number 11 is peacock from Luxie. this is like a green red type of duochrome but the red isn't super strong on that which i like i prefer that you can see it's like a little bit more sheer um and instead it's like more sparkly but it's just such a pretty duochrome again this type of shadow is just a great like one shadow look and so you know one of these had to make it in the top 10 or I mean the top 20 and I feel like this is the version of this type of shadow that I wear the most so therefore this one made it in the top 20 but of course I have like a million of these and you know they're all comparable for the most part number 12 is another one that you've seen a lot on my channel this is JD glow good god uh so unique so pretty um it's got like a light taupe kind of base with like a purple and a blue sparkle and almost like a silver leaning sparkle in there too really really beautiful can work as an inner corner highlight because that base isn't too dark but also looks great all over the lid and just finds its way into a lot of my build your own palettes because it always just kind of feels like it fits you know and definitely one that I love wearing and just I'm so glad to have number 13 is a different kind of single shadow this is the J-Cat Prismetal shadow, and this one is in the shade Chrome Crusher, and it's a cream shadow, and it is very creamy. Like, I'm not sure if you can see, but when I push my fingers in it, it is super creamy, and it's more of a metallic. There's not, like, a ton of sparkle in this, but this, as a one shadow look, is probably one of, like, my most used shadows. It is is just perfect it's like the perfect amount of depth the perfect amount of shine i wear it all the time like when i'm going out with friends or anything like that it does have sparkle in it and you can see you can sheer it out so i like the versatility in it as well and it dries down it doesn't crease it lasts for a really long time and it just is one that i really enjoy so if you are into cream shadows this may be one worth checking out i know i definitely am glad that i picked it up next we have terra moon's uh terra borealis 
This is like the more colorful version of Davina Mystic Moon Pie. It's got a much more red base on it with a much like stronger blue shift. Um, so shiny and beautiful. I wore this in an Instagram video recently and I had a lot of people like commenting saying how much they liked it. So I, you know, that part is part of why it definitely made the top 20. I just feel like Terra Moon shadows are so shiny and for being eight dollars this one is really good compared to like those chameleon ones which I feel like can sometimes be a little hit and miss. This is such a strong duochrome too. Um, I just really enjoy this one and it almost can lean a little bit pink in the shimmer too when it's not hitting the light so that's really interesting as well. So switching it up, number 15 is actually from the Natasha Denona palette, the mini retro, and this is Pixie, and I love this one. I used this on my mom at Christmas time when I was doing her makeup, and it was so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is like a nice single shadow look when you don't want to, at least for me and my skin tone, I don't want to look like I have a lot of eyeshadow on, but I want my lids to like look glossy, have that like wet look that everyone's always after. This gives it to me. It's so shiny. And when you get up close, you can see those like multi-dimensional glitters in it. I can try to show it on camera. There's just like a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, a little bit of silver. And I just think that this is a really special shade. I find oftentimes I'm reaching for this palette just for this shade. I mean, I like the other ones too. This one also, I'll swatch it, even though it's not in the top 20. But this one is really pretty too. It's got a nice sparkle to it as well. Um, but something about this one is just kind of unique. Like I don't really have any other shades quite like this and I think it's gorgeous. Number 16 is yet another Luxie shadow. You can definitely tell I really like this brand, uh, best bang for your buck, but not all created equal, but one that is stunning is the Monarch. And this one is getting discontinued, which I'm so sad about. I don't know why, but it is like this like um like rosy like burnt sienna type of color but it, then it has like a gold shift in it and on the edges it has like a little bit of a green shift which i find so interesting this is again a great single shadow look for like a smoky beautiful sparkly eye um you can see it does have a shine not quite as stark of a shine because it is like a little bit more like, um, I don't know, one dimensional in at least like um, the depth of color, but it does have a shift, which I'm not sure if you all will be able to see, but there's like that green that comes on the edges, which just makes this such a unique color to me um, and really special. And I love it for single shadow looks. Number 17 is palladium this is one from terra moons um it's one of their three that is super super metallic like i'm talking like looks like melted metal on your eyes it is really sparkly and beautiful and these ones this is crazy to me six dollars for these which i do not understand but i am not here to argue about it i know a lot of other brands charge way the heck more for these like i know give me glow and clarity both charge like ten dollars for this type of shadow jd glow charges i think eight so this i don't know what terra moons is doing but i am here for it because this is beautiful it doesn't have any dimension or anything like that like there's no duochromeness i mean it does have dimension you can see that shine and that depth on the edges but there's no duochrome or anything like that it's a much more opaque shadow than a lot of the ones that i've shown you today um but it is so so gorgeous. I find I can't really wear this one on its own as a single shadow look. It just kind of looks a little wonky in my personal opinion, but blended with like a nice smoky eye, this is a perfect date night type of shadow. It's so, so beautiful. I love it so much. Even just swatching it on my hand every once in a while, I'm just like, ah, oh, yes, this is the things that dreams are made of. <laughs> 
Number 18 is Royalty by Cleona. Um, this is a vibrant multi-chrome. It's got like a purple base with like a gold and a teal shift in it. Um, so pretty. Now this one, again, kind of expensive, um, but I have it, you know, and so I do enjoy it because I have it. But this is another one that has a pretty good looksy dupe, which we'll talk about in another video. Um, but I figured I would swatch this one. Um, since I do own this one, I definitely would put this in my top 20, but I think I would be just as happy with just the looksy one if I didn't already own this. So, you know, something to keep in mind, but I cannot deny it is beautiful. It is so pretty. It's got like a purple base. It's almost like a little bit warm leaning of a purple. Um, then it has like a strong gold shift when you're looking straight at it, which goes a little bit teal on the edges and almost like a little peachy too. It's so pretty. I definitely wear this one out a lot with like my friends. I think that this is a really fun one for like a fun night out. Um, and I love it for colorful looks. Number 19, we're so close to the end. This is Antares by Terra Moons. Another one with a Luxie dupe. I'm just saying, Luxie has so many good dupes. Um, but again, same thing as the Cleona one. Since I have it, this is in my top 20. It's a hot pink base with a gold and a little bit of a blue, like teal shift in there really really pretty it gives me total barbie vibes now shine by sd does have one similar to this i think it's like um unex unexplainable or something like that and i would love to try that one i'm not going to since i own this one that one looks like it has even more of a shift in it i find on the eyes this one looks like it's just pink and gold which is why it's a little bit lower on my ranking but still a beautiful shadow and one that I really love swatching and just playing with. Um, even though you can't quite get all of the dimension that's in the pan on the eyes. Guys, we made it and not a moment too soon. My poor hand is rubbed raw, but this is number 20, the last one. And it comes from the Winter Rose Mini Palette from Lorac. It's the shade in the middle. It is so sparkly. Again, unassuming, but just beautiful. I could totally picture myself wearing this shade all over my lids for my wedding because it's just like a really, you know, subtle glow. You know, there's nothing like super shifty or unique about it, but I don't know what it is. It's just like so sparkly IRL and it's gorgeous. I love it. I don't know why. I just really, really like this one. I find myself again, reaching for this palette for this shade and I just think it's beautiful. Um, and by the way, I am not engaged or anything like that, but eventually if I do get married, I can totally see myself wearing this. It's so, so pretty. And that rounds out our top 20 eyeshadows or my top 20 eyeshadows. I figured I would go ahead and round out this video by swatching all of my top 20 together. So that way you can kind of see them all in their glory. Um, you can definitely see what types of shades I like. Lots of neutrals, lots of lighter colors, pastels to the surprise of no one. Um, but here they all are. And as a reminder, we have the shadow from the Huda Beauty Light, uh, Shattered, Shattering Stars, Mystic Moon Pie, Ballistic, Ube, Animal Kingdom, Playboy, Angel Wings, Watermelon Sorbet, and unexpected in the top 10. And there they all are. And then 11, we have Peacock from Luxie, then Good God, then uh, the J Cat Cream Shadow, um, Terra Borealis, uh, the shade from Natasha Denona, uh, the Monarch. <laughs> this is a test for my memory. Um, oh gosh, uh, Polydium. Uh, royalty uh ooh, you can tell these are in the bottom 10 because i'm like oh i can't remember uh antares and then lastly that shade from the Lorac palette so let me know you guys 
Are any of these some of your favorite shadows? And if not, what are your favorite shadows? Let's take some time to appreciate the shadows that we have. Um, I know that it's been helping me a lot on my no buy to just kind of take a second and say, wow, look at all of the beautiful, shifty, sparkly goodness that I have in my life. Um, and until I see you next time, I hope that you stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye!